Welcome to 3D Printer OS, the world's first cloud-based management platform for 3D printers. Using our software, you'll have access to constantly updated tools that will make printing easier, user-friendly, and hassle-free. 3D Printer OS gives a personalized approach to printing, allowing you to set up a profile on our site and connect with fellow users. From there, you can connect to your dashboard, a live record of all the people who use our software, and statistically, the time dedicated to bring their creativity into reality. Hi, this is Aaron and welcome to 3D Printer OS. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your first printer and use all of the awesome features in our system. Adding your first printer is fast and easy. All you need to do is click on the Printers tab here, and click on the Install button here. From here, you're going to want to pick how you're going to connect your printer to the cloud. As you can see here, we have Mac, Windows, Ubuntu, and Raspberry Pi. Select the type of image you want and download the latest software. Once you've installed the latest software, all you need to do now is connect your PC, Mac, Raspberry Pi, or Ubuntu device to your printer and make sure your printer is turned on. Launch the 3D Printer OS application. From there, you'll see another window pop up where you can actually select your printer type. Uh, for here I have a MakerBot, so let me select printer type here and choose my replicator too. Now that you've added a printer, it's time to upload a file and get started. From your upload tab, you can upload an STL, an OBJ, an AMF, and in the future even maybe a 3MF file. You can either drag and drop a file into here or you can pull one right off your desktop. For today's purposes, let me bring in Professor McDuckley. Once your file's uploaded, click Go to My Files, and from there you can access all the different applications 3D Printer OS has. So there's my Professor McDuckley, and I can click on the Apps button right here. The two most important applications, I would say, are Magic Fix and STL Editor. Magic Fix allows you to orientate, prepare, and do various different fixes to your file before the printing process. So I'm going to run that first. I'm going to pick the MakerBot Replicator 2. That's what I've connected today. And while that workflow runs, you'll see the screen shifted. It's taking my file and moving it over to my projects. Now that this is done, I'm gonna click close. And what I could do is open this up in my STL editor and see what I'm really working with before I print it. So there is my Professor McDuckley in all of his glory. As you can see, I can rotate, scale, and I can see how he looks on different print beds. So I said I'm gonna use the MakerBot Replicator 2. Uh, if he was off the bed, which let me do real quick here, I can put him on the bed. I could also mirror and center him and do all sorts of different things. From here you could also add additional files. This looks good, I'm going to click save. While that's saving, uh, what I'm going to want to do next is actually slice this file and get it ready for printing. I have my replicator 2 here that I've added. And I could either play with my settings here, like layer thickness, shell thickness, or infill. Uh, or I can, if I want to do something more advanced, I can click over here. Either way, this duck's ready for printing. Let's click start. Now that my file is sliced and ready for printing, sending it to my printer is as easy as clicking print and choosing which one of my printers I want to send it to. Looks like this one's printing, so I'm going to click a live view, make sure things are good, and send this to go print. Once you've clicked print, you can head over to the printers tab and actually see a live status of what's going on with your prints. If you have cameras connected, you can click on the live view wall and see what's happening with your different printers. Or even from your active printers tab, you can click right here in the logs to see the different status of your print jobs. As you can see here, my extruder is almost heated up for Professor McDuckley. If at any point in the printing process or while in 3D Printer OS you have a question, you could always click the live support button up here and access our live chat feature.